Chi Voice here, bring you another Hyundai A League fixture preview for the fixtures of week 19. And let's get into things. So, the first game of the weekend sees Brisbane Raw take on Newcastle Jets. Both teams managed to pick up Lins last weekend and will want to add another this weekend. Brisbane Raw had a dominating performance last weekend, while Newcastle Jets just managed to beat Melbourne City in a shock upset. Brisbane Raw welcome Clot and Brady to the first team squad, while they have no apparent outs, and Newcastle Jets welcome Kantorowski and Kito to the first team squad, while they also have no apparent outs. Both teams are at full strength, but Brisbane Raw, bit of form, can score goals. I think they're going to outscore Newcastle Jets in this fixture. And, of course, Brisbane Raw charging for that title. This is only another step towards it. I can see Brisbane Raw winning this result 3-1. The second game of the weekend sees Sydney FC take on Perth Glory. Now, Sydney FC managed only a draw last weekend, while Perth Glory picked up another win and continue their late push to the top six. Sydney FC welcomes Stambolzi and Brost back to the first team squad while they have no apparent outs. And Perth Glory welcome Garcia and Williams to the first team squad while they also have no apparent outs. No outs in the first two fixtures is good. But, you know, Sydney FC struggling a bit form wise just this season overall. They're not where they'd like to be. And rightly so. I don't, I don't understand Graham Arnold. Don't get, he's a fantastic coach. Look what he did with Central Coast, but struggling with Sydney FC. So, what can I say there? But Kenny Lowe and Perth Glory, on the other hand, fantastic turnaround since the transfer window. It's incredible what, what their transfer window's done for them. Now, Perth Glory have confidence. Sydney FC have criticism. And due to their performances, what can you expect? But Perth Glory, the team in form, the team scoring the goals, I can see Perth Glory winning this result 2-1. The third game of the weekend sees Melbourne City take on my team Melbourne Victory in the Melbourne Derby, the third and final Melbourne Derby of the season. If there's one in the final series, then there'll be a fourth, but for the regular season, no more Melbourne Derbies. And Melbourne City suffered a shock defeat last weekend. Well, Melbourne victory, we were unable to hold until a 1-0 win. We had to settle for a one or draw. Melbourne City welcome new signing Alex Wilkinson, the Australian international, to their squad. Quite a good defender, Alex Wilkinson. Now, how he's going to perform for City, I have no idea. But it's a good move for him. They also welcome Anthony Casares and Ali Ayigun to the first team squad. Well, Malling will miss the result after his red card last weekend. It's understandable. Melbourne victory welcome Archie Thompson, Fahid Ben Kelfala, Rashid Mahazi, and Thomas Deng to the first team squad. While Howard and Ingham have been omitted from the squad, rightly so. We are trying to field our best team for one of our most important fixtures. Both teams have won a Melbourne derby this season. It is the deciding fixture. I can see this fixture ending in a two-all draw with each side picking up a point. Now, the fourth game of the weekend sees Central Coast taking on Adelaide United. Adelaide United are a team in form in the A-League at the moment. I think they've unbeaten in 10, unbeaten in 11 now, which is just insane considering their start to the season. And Central Coast sit at the foot of the table with their season over. They're not getting back. A win for Adelaide could see them overtake the likes of Sydney, Melbourne Victory and Melbourne City. They could be sitting top three by the end of this weekend. Top three. Fantastic for Adelaide fans, but oh my lord, what a rise they've had. It's ridiculous. At the start of the season, I was sitting here writing them off. They're nearly in, in the top three. There's one win away. It's fantastic for them. Central Coast welcome Austin, Fahaja and Stella to the first team squad. Well, Ascroft is unavailable for the fixture. Adelaide United welcome Warland, Comor, and Tongyuk to the first team squad, while LaRocca and Alrich are unavailable for the fixture. Now, Adelaide United, as I've just said, in form, Central Coast, foot of the table. It's going to go one way. It's going to be an Adelaide United win. 
and the scoreline is going to be 2-0. And the final game of the weekend sees top of the table, Western Sydney take on Wellington Phoenix. Now, Western Sydney managed to steal a late draw last weekend, while Wellington Phoenix have ridden their season off. They know it's over. Injury crisis. Western Sydney are welcome Cole, Piavacari, Sim, Mabratu, and Aspropopotamatus. I'll get there one day, don't you worry about that. To the first team squad, while Dimas, Alberto, and Andreu are all unavailable for the fixture. So, the way I see this here for Western Sydney is purely the fact that they're lacking attacking options. They've brought in some good replacements. Wellington Phoenix welcome Riera, McGarry, and Watson to the first team squad, while Rodriguez, Rodriguez and Singh are unavailable for the fixture. Now, Western Sydney obviously top the table. Wellington, their season is over. They are not getting into the finals position. There's seven teams available in it at the moment. Perth Glory look like the team who are just going to miss out. But, personally, I do think the finals spots are well and truly sorted. Unless... Perth Glory got undefeated by the end of the season. Unless they don't don't lose a game, I expect to see him up there. But, you know, Western Sydney Wanderers is going to be Wellington. It's going to be a 2-0 win. They're my predictions for the Hyundai A-League for the fixtures of Week 19. If you, if you disagree, leave your comment down in the comment section below. If not, if you agree, leave a comment down in the comment section below. But if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe to see more Hyundai A-League content. Hopefully I'll catch you guys on another video.